Hello, my name is Maxime Tolnara. I'm a scientist at Leo Pharma and the first author on our paper, Signaling of Multiple IL-17 Family Cytokines via IL-17 Receptor A Thrive Psoriasis Related Inflammatory Pathways. This work was done in collaboration with the laboratory of Professor James Kruger at the Rockefeller University in New York. The development of targeted treatments for psoriasis has demonstrated a key role of the IL-23 and IL-17 immune axis and clinical efficacy has been observed by targeting either a single cytokine, such as IL-17A, or the common receptor chain, IL-17 receptor A, which is shared by more than one IL-17 family members. While the role of IL-17A in driving skin inflammation and psoriasis is widely recognized, the function and contribution of the other IL-17 family cytokines, as shown in this figure, is less well understood. In order to thoroughly investigate the expression, localization, and functional activity of IL-17 family cytokines and psoriasis, we performed a comprehensive and systematic analysis using several complementary methods. When comparing mRNA expression levels of IL-17 family cytokines in lesional versus non-lesional skin, we demonstrate that lesional skin had increased mRNA levels of IL-17A, IL-17C, and IL-17F, while we measured decreased mRNA levels of IL-17B, IL-17D and IL-17E, which is also known as IL-25. In line with the mRNA expression pattern, protein levels of IL-17A, F, C, as well as IL-17AF were significantly increased in lesional skin compared to non-lesional skin. We found that IL-17C levels were typically higher than the levels of IL-17A and IL-17F, and in addition, protein levels of IL-17AF were markedly lower than IL-17A or F in all patients. When looking at the localization of IL-17 producing cells, we found that the IL-17A and IL-17F expressing cells in the epidermis showed high levels of mRNA expression and were confirmed to be T cells by co-staining for CD3. IL-17C mRNA, on the other hand, was highly expressed in lesional skin by clusters of differentiated keratinocytes in the upper layers of the epidermis. Next, in order to investigate the contribution of the different IL-17 family cytokines of psoriasis, we stimulated ex vivo cultured human skin biopsies for 24 hours and used microarrays to map their gene expression signatures. This analysis demonstrated that IL-17A, AF, F, and IL-17C, but not IL-17E, induced a dose-dependent and qualitatively comparable gene expression response and showed significant correlation with the psoriasis transcriptomic signature abbreviated here as MAD3PSO. Finally, we investigated the combined effects of the IL-17 family cytokines that we show to be upregulated in psoriasis skin using primary human epidermal keratinocytes by co-stimulation with TNF. In the example shown on this slide, you can see the upregulation of CXCL8 in response to the combined IL-17 family cytokines. Treatment with Ixikitumab an anti-IL-17A antibody inhibited gene expression to a level comparable to stimulation with TNF combined with IL-17C and IL-17F, as shown by the orange line comparing the two bars. In contrast, treatment with Brodalumab, an IL-17 receptor A blocking antibody, inhibited signaling by all IL-17 family cytokines and normalized gene expression of CXCL8 to the TNF control, as shown by the green line comparing the two bars. In conclusion, our study shows that mRNA and protein levels of IL-17A, IL-17F, IL-17AF, and IL-17C, but not IL-17E, were found to be significantly increased in lesional psoriasis skin. In ex vivo cultured human skin, a physiologically relevant model, IL-17A, F, AF, and C show functional redundancy in shaping the psoriasis transcriptome. IL-17 receptor A antagonism, but not IL-17A inhibition, normalizes gene expression in keratinocytes induced by the combination of IL-17 family cytokines. And in summary, overexpression and functional redundancy of IL-17 family cytokines of psoriasis may explain why some patients not responding to IL-17A inhibition respond to IL-17 receptor A antagonism. We hope you find our in paper interesting to read and thank you for your attention.